So you found a casting notice that checks all the right boxes, your perfect role. Then you read at the bottom, prepare a monologue. Your stomach drops, the anxiety sets in. How can you find one short piece that showcases all of your talents? Well, have no fear. Stage Milk is here to give you our five top tips on how to pick a monologue. If you're not given a monologue from the work you're auditioning for, then find one that's as similar as possible. Look for other works by the same writer or at least something from the same period and style. The whole point is to make it easy for casting to envision you in the role. Resources like your local drama bookshops or our stage milk monologue resources are perfect. Picking an appropriate monologue is always a great idea, but the other thing is to pick something short and succinct. Generally, I wouldn't go past three minutes unless otherwise specified. Pick something that will leave them wanting more. Find something short and sharp, and in your performance, don't be too indulgent. Pace and drive are really essential elements of any good monologue. Next up, pick something unique. Most actors scramble to the same monologue pages time and time again. So there's a handful of monologues out there that are really, really overdone. See if you can pick something a little bit unique. It shows that you're proactive, well-read, and that you make interesting choices. Again, head to a bookshop or check out online play subscriptions and browse plays and playwrights and find something really interesting and unique. This is where reading and watching plays really pays off. Make a note every time you read a play or watch a play and love a particular monologue and keep it in your back pocket for a rainy day. Make sure you choose a monologue with a narrative arc, even if it's just a short one, because some change needs to happen in the piece. This will ensure that you have room to play and deliver an engaging performance. Something active where you're really trying to affect that other actor is always better than a more reflective storytelling style monologue. A monologue is an opportunity to showcase who you are. Casting directors, producers, directors, they wanna see if you are uniquely right for this role. Give them something to remember by letting your personality shine through the text. For example, if you find a dramatic monologue you love but you don't relate to how the character cries at the end of the monologue, then try a different choice. Arthur Miller doesn't own your choices, so use the text to showcase your unique take on the character. And finally, never stop playing. As you're looking through monologue options, stay playful. Try a few monologues out, get them up on their feet, and see how you connect with them. Sometimes it's only once we start performing a piece that we truly connect with it. This sense of play should stay with you through all your preparation. So there you have it, some helpful tips for choosing your next monologue. Remember, especially if you're auditioning for a big role or an acting school, make sure you don't lose the fun and the play within the piece. Find a monologue that speaks to you and give yourself every chance to kill it on the floor. Good luck and thank you for watching the Stage Milk YouTube channel.